Well, it's time now to see what is clicking in Cleveland. Of course, for that, we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. And Stephanie, you know, when we get big weather events, that's what people click on. I know. But no matter what is going on, if there's something going on with the Browns, people click on that too. We got the best of both worlds for you today, Betsy. First, we'll start off with the more football side of things. We've got one star defensive player back a day earlier than expected and just in time because another one will be out for at least the next three weeks. Defensive end Miles Garrett was taken off the Browns COVID-19 reserve list today after head coach Kevin Stefanski said he expected him back by tomorrow. Garrett missed two games due to NFL COVID protocol, but now he'll officially be back for Sunday's game against the Tennessee Titans. But safety Ronnie Harrison Jr. won't be. The Browns put him on the injured reserve list today after he hurt his shoulder in last Sunday's win against the Jacksonville Jaguars. He could be out recovering for the next four to six weeks. Now, Harrison Jr. is just one of the Cleveland Browns players who was struggling a little bit in the snow today. This video shows him having a really tough time getting the snow off of his truck, taken by Browns cornerback Greedy Williams. I'm sure the shoulder, shoulder injury uh, doesn't help there, but we can cut him some slack even without that because Harrison Jr. hasn't seen a lot of snow. He grew up in Florida, he played college ball in Alabama, and he played for Jacksonville before he got traded to the Browns in August. And Greedy's from Louisiana, so we can see why this was pretty funny to him. And wide receiver Kaderil Hodge, who grew up in Mississippi and played in Texas in college, had a tough time too. He tweeted, if you see me on the road today, go around. I'll be driving a maximum 15 miles per hour with the emergency lights on. He was not joking. He actually posted this video where he's only driving 10 miles per hour. Now, I can't tell him any tips for the driving, but I will say this, Betsy, here's my tip. If you're trying to get the snow off your windshield, just go out there, start the car early. Even though that was a lot of snow, it might have taken a while, but that's uh, my best tip for these poor guys. Pop those windshield wipers up, and oh yeah, by the way, put your cell phone down while you're driving, even if you're only driving 15 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. All mm -hmm. right, thanks so much, Stephanie.